Hello there. Although this tutorial primarily concerns complete control users, other logic users may find it of use anyway. Today I will show you where you put the files when you want to use the mouth, the finger, molecular, and uh, prism, and raise over coder. On your Mac, there are some folders in tilde slash library. And tilde de uh, designates your own user folder. So what we're going to do here is do command shift G. Go to folder. Go to folder window. Tilde slash library slash. Go to the folder combo box. Enter a path. And you can see, you can hear that there's some text already inserted here. Tilde slash lib tilde. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Tilde slash L I B R A R Y slash. It's important that you actually put the capital letter for the library because it's case sensitive and it won't work if you don't. So let's go into library. Library window list view table. Then we go to audio accounts folder. And I'm just typing Assist audio here. Audio folder. Open selection list view table. Presets. Pl presets folder. Open selection list view. Native instruments. Native instruments folder. Open selection list. Now we're looking for a folder called Reactor 6 MFX. If we don't see that, then we have to do a few other things to make that possible. Ask Reactor 6 folder, Replica XT folder, Reactor 6 folder. Okay, we don't have Reactor 6 MFX, and I've removed it for this demonstration. So what we need to now do is I'm going to go back into Logic here. Logic Pro, Logic Pro X, Untitled, Tracks, Window, Lists, Pop-Up Button. Now what I've got is I've actually got a blank complete control track in front of me. Playing the keyboard, nothing's happening. I'm going to change this to Reactor 6 MFX, and in doing so, this folder will be automatically generated by Logic in the relevant folder. And then all we need to do is copy the files into it. So I'm going to go menu, click on this list button, AU MIDI controlled effects, Log or MIDI controlled effects, or MIDI controlled effects, sub menu, Isaac. native instruments, native instrument, Na native, in and go R, reactor 6 MFX, sub menu, reactor 5 FX, reactor 6 MFX, checking I'm on the right one, let's go in here, react, reactor 6 M stereo, Mono, stereo. And I want stereo. And now the folder has been generated. So if I command tab back into the window where we were previously. Finder. Finder. RC40. Reactor 6 folder. Reactor 6 MFX folder. We can now see that instead of Reactor 6 followed by. Replica XT. Replica XT. We have a folder in the middle called. Reactor 6 MFX. Reactor 6 MFX. This is great. If you have already instantiated Reactor, then you can skip that step that I showed you previously uh, about instantiating Reactor. If you don't, then you're going to need to do that or you can just make the folder if you can type it very carefully enough. It's better to just instantiate the plugin anyway though, just for safety's sake. Now, let's show you something. I'm gonna go back into Logic. Logic Pro X sidechain manual, pop-up button. I'm going to this manual button. Menu. I'm gonna go up. Factory presets, delete, Dim. save as default. Nothing to see here. And the factory presets, Fact we're gonna see nothing. Pre next, con factory presets, submenu. Factory presets, submenu, check mark, pre zero, empty, pre one, empty. All empty. Manual, pop-up. This is actually understandable. Finder. We're back in Finder now, and now we need to go to the Complete Control Dropbox in this case. So I'm going to take you there, and we're going to copy some of these presets into the Reactor 6 MFX folder. First of all, let me get Native into Instrument. the Reactor 6 folder. Reactor, Reactor 6 MFX folder. Open selection. List view. Table. Right, it's empty. Let me do Command N for a new Finder window. New Finder. Command Shift H for Home for Dropbox. Home. Li da Dropbox, Dropbox folder. Open selection. Complete. Case. I'm typing it. Open selection. Presets, presets folder. Open select or folder. AU. Today, open selection. And there List. are some. There are a few folders with presets in them. Andre folder. Open so in here there is prism or preset find raise of or preset find. So I'm going to do command A, command C. I'm going to copy the prism.au presets and raise of au presets to the clipboard. Select copy to items. I'm going to do command uh, accent to change the windows. Cycle through windows. Reactor 6 MFX window. And I'm going to paste them. Not copy, not cut them, just paste. Paste to items. Now we need to go back to the previous window. Andre window in closing. And we need to go to the IZG folder. IZG folder because he's put the other ones in as well. Open selection. So here molecular we are. or press the finger or press molecular or press the finger or press the mouth or press the final cut pro. These three I want to copy again to the clipboard. Three copy three items. This time I can close this window with command W. Close window. Reactor six and paste. Paste three items. These items. Now let's go back to logic. Logic logic pro. And as far as I know, this is automatically refreshed. Side manual. So if I go into the manual here. Menu. Save as default. Save as elite. Load elite. Copy. Previous. Next. Con factory. The mouth. The finger. Razor vocoder. Prism. Molecular. Press. Man. Save as default. Do we see? These have presets have just simply appeared in the manual pop-up menu where there was none before. Molecular. Prism. So let's, as a, as a test. Razor vocoder. The finger. Let's try setting up the finger to work correctly. Here's the finger. The finger. Checked. It's now instantiated. And now um, I need to set my side chain. Side none. Pop up button. Menu check input one. In input three. In this case, input three. Input three check. It's now listening to input three. And I will now turn down my microphone. And um, even though there is no preset set, yep, the, the keys currently don't work. Now, ordinarily with a logic project, when you do something like this, it is very straightforward. All you need to do is just press your left and right bracket keys. This won't work in this case because 
it will actually cycle through the presets um, outside of the factory folder, the submenu that we saw earlier. Side chain. Let me show you. The finger pop-up button. That is now selected as we hear. Instead of saying manual, it says the finger. But if I were to press the right bracket key, it would actually switch to another plugin, probably the Razor Vocoder um, or something else in alphabetical order. So what we first need to do once we've picked this plugin is go into menu. the menu, factory preset. up to factory presets. Factory presets, submenu check mark, pre zero, in it, the fit, pre's one, press the finger, pop-up check mark, pre zero, in it, the finger. Even though it says check mark in it, pre's one or preset one. Pre's one, single. Check mark, pre zero. Sorry, pre zero. We need preset one. Pre's one, single. Single. Pre's one, single. So I've actually gone forward um, in the presets a little bit because these early ones don't seem to do much with the keyboard. They might only do things when the, the, the transport is engaged. I've gone to one that I know works called. Side chain replayer. Pop up button. Replayer. Now, if I play keys on the keyboard, it is actually a my voice. voice, 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 voice. Uh, when I play, play keys, and uh, they will do all sorts of weird and weird wacky, and wacky, 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 wacky things. So that is the finger, and we have also, we've just put those in place uh, with very little effort ourselves, <laughs> and uh, you can now go off and have fun and uh, play with these other plugins that we've now put in place. Play, 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 play. So I hope you've had fun listening to this crazy illustration, and uh, if you have any more questions, like normal, get in touch the normal ways through WhatsApp, through email, onj.louis at gmail.com, or tweet me at onjmusic. Thanks for listening, and bye-bye.